Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the creative director of Oriana Kuto. I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you are just seeing this video for the first time, please kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you can get notified once I upload any sewing tutorial. So on this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodies. And these are the tools that we'll need. We'll need a master, we'll need a marker pen, we'll need uh, paper uh, tape and we have various kind of ruler there you can see that's our slight ruler and we have our curve ruler and then we have our straight ruler so if you find this video interesting please kindly stay to the end of this video and um, also share and comment why you are watching this video so the first thing is to take our starting line like i always do on my previous video our starting line is always one you come down by one on your pattern paper please do not do this on your fabric this is done on the pattern paper i'm going to repeat this again please do this on the pattern paper not on your fabric so i've gone ahead to mark one inch and then um ruling across right now i'm ruling across right now and then that is my paper tape i'm trying to hold the pattern paper because i noticed it was shaking so we don't have we don't have to encounter any errors during the course of this video so that is me right now i'm taping some edges on the paper tape so it could sit very well on the table why i am drafting so if you don't have a paper tape there's also another tape that you can use that is very light some people call it a water tape please use that don't take this out of your drafting when you're drafting always work with your paper tape to hold the pattern paper so it would sit very so i've gone ahead to do that and then next thing i'm going to be doing right now is from the starting line i'm going to mark my bus point so that part is the starting line i'm going to be marking my bus point my under bust my waistline and my hip so that is me i've got my head to mark my bus points and the next right now i'm marking my under bus which is 12 and a half and the next i'm doing right now is my waist which is 16 and the other one from my waist i go down by eight which is my hip depth so for an average for an average person it is eight then for a large person you will do nine so i've gone ahead i'm also repeating the same thing on the other side taking my bust point my under bust my waistline and then my hip depth so make sure you mark these across your pattern paper so while you're ruling you would not um ruler means you um, you are going to rule it by connecting these points together like i'm doing so so right now you get your straight ruler and connect all the points together connect all the points together from the boss point and also connect all the points together for the under boss and also connect all the points together for the waistline and also connect all the points together for the hip line if you know you're a beginner this is not difficult it is beginners friendly this video is beginners friendly all you have to do is to take out your time if you have to watch this video several times please do go ahead and watch so you would understand so right now i've gone ahead to pick my marker pen so i would rule this out so everyone will see the lines it will be clear because the pencil i noticed that the pencil i was using wasn't clear so right now this is me trying to rule out all the lines i'm ruling from the boss point and then i went ahead i'm also ruling from the other bust and also on the waistline and then lastly on the hip line so that is me i'm ruling across if you don't have um a what's it called a marker pen this that's not to worry as long as you are able to see what you are doing it's fine so that is me i'm marking um the boss point that is bp means boss point ub means under boss and hl means half length and then that is our hip which is hip that is our hip so right now i've gone ahead to label these lines together and then we'll start putting all our measurements so that's all the line that we started with is called the starting line so you can see me i'm writing it out the starting line and also i would also get my ruler to rule it across so you all will see the lines because i noticed it was faint so that's why i had to pick up my marker pen to rule across so everyone will be on the same page so right now i've gone ahead to 
to mark all the lines out and the next thing that we are going to be doing is to place all our measurements we are going to be placing all our measurements and the first thing i have there is to place my shoulder measurement my shoulder measurement is 15 divided by 2 i have 7.5 and then i will go and also on that other side i'm taking the neck the neck depth and the i'm taking the neck measurement which is three by three you go in by three and come down by three the neck width you go in by three you can see i'm trying to mark an arrow with the pen and then you come down by three which is some people call it three by three this is just a standard measurement you can also do three by four you can do four by four it all depends on the neckline that you are working with but because this is a basic bodice pattern so the standard measurement is three by three so i've gone ahead to mark that and then from the shoulder where we went in by 7.5 i'm going to come down by one and then connect the points at where our neck depth was which is going in by three i'll connect it to the one i came down to create our shoulder slant so that is to create your shoulder slant and the next thing i'm doing right now i'm dividing my boss divided by six plus 1.5 this is to get our chest line so for whatever you get when you divide your boss divided by six plus 1.5 you will get the chest line some persons might get 8.25 but for me i got 7.75 so that is me i've marked 7.75 and then i'm going to rule across so that chest line the purpose of the chest line that is where we place our bust measurement not on the bust point the bust point is just a guide you're going to see how we are going to be working with it so right now i need to connect the 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 what's it called the where we went down by one and the boss point i need to connect these lines together to create our ham o so our arm o line so that is me i've gone ahead to connect those two points together to create our arm o line and that's how to create your arm o line so that you can see i just marked its chest line people some people call it c hill if you don't want to um, spell it out you just mark your chest line so you can see i've gone ahead to mark out the boss point because we won't be needing it for you won't be needing it in placing your boss measurement but it's just going to be a guide so as we go on on this video you are going to see what i'm going to be doing so the next thing right now i'm going to be dividing my bust by four to place my boss measurement that is four by sorry i'm going to be dividing my bust measurement divided by four my bust measurement divided by four so that is it i've gone ahead to mark so whatever you get you're going to mark and then from the 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 arm o length you divide it by two whatever you get mark it also and i got 3.75 and then i've gone ahead to mark it and then i will connect those points together that is how to create your arm or connect those points together by going in by 0.5 but there are some measurements whereby you have to go in by 0.25 but for a standard basic bodies you go in by 0.5 and then you connect those three lines together connect those three lines together you can see where i'm marking connect that line to this line and after that you connect to the other line which is your bust measurement divided by four so watch carefully and see how i will be connecting these lines together watch carefully and see how i'm going to be connecting these lines together I've gone ahead to connect those points together so I'm just cross tracking my bust measurement so I'm marking it out so it will be visible and I'm not placing the allowance yet even if you want to place allowance on that part it shouldn't be over one inch so the next thing is to place my waist measurement I'm going to be placing it on the 
half length which is also hl as you can see on the pattern paper so the measurement i have there is 7.5 which is 30 divided by 4 i have 7.5 so i've gone ahead to mark that and the next is to place my hip measurement and the hip measurement i'm working with is 40 40 divided by 4 i have 10 so i've gone ahead to mark and then i'm going to connect these points together remember we don't have our allowances yet i'm going to connect these points together i will connect first off with my straight rule from the boss from the chest line to the waist i'm not going to be connected with my straight rule that you can see i've placed that aside and then i'll be working with my slight curve rule and if you're working make sure on the hip line 18 inches is touching on the hip line it's going to, it's not going to be too curvy it's just going to give you a, a nice smooth it's just going to give you a nice smooth so this is me i'm trying to show you i know you can't see but make sure on this ruler you mark your you place 18 inch on your hip line it's just going to give you a nice um a nice curve so right now i'm going to use my marker pen to connect this to draw out these lines so you'll be able to see it so this is me i'm doing that right now and then i picked up the slight curve ruler again and i'm marking this out make sure there is no sharp points there shouldn't be sharp points while you're doing this so i've gone ahead to mark this um this uh, to connect these together and the next i'm going to be doing is to place our dart so uh that the dart measurement i'm working with is eight uh that measurement is how to get to that measurement is your nipple to nipple so the nipple to nipple i have here is eight eight divided by four i have eight divided by two rather I have four so whatever you get some persons might be nine some persons might be 7.5 so make sure you divide it by two whatever you have from your boss from your boss point to the other boss point which is also known as your nipple to nipple so i've gone ahead to mark four on the hip line on the half length and also on the boss point this is where we need our boss points this is where we need it so i've gone ahead to mark these lines together and i've connected them together so on the half length i'm going to take go in by 1.5 on on each side you can see i marked 0 0.5 sorry not 1.5 excuse me 0 0.5 on each side which is going to make it one mark 0 0.5 on each side of the half length which i did mark 0 0.5 on each side to get your duct leg we are just going to be using that to get our duct leg and then for the front you're going to come down by four you're going to come down by four for some measurement but because of the purpose of this tutorial we are not going to be doing that that is only done when you are doing a victorian corset where your front um that leg is differs from the back that leg so right now i'm going to connect these points together but for this uh, purpose of these uh, basic bodies we are not going to be doing that so i'm connecting these that legs together to the hip I'm connecting it to the hip and then from that other spot which is the half length i'm connecting it to the boss point so this is where we need our boss points that i like i mentioned earlier that is going to be a guide so the next thing that we are going to be doing is to minus our um, back half length from the front half length so if you don't know how to do this go to my channel you're going to see a video of me taking full body measurement of how to take your front half length and your back half length and the back half length for this um, measurement is 14 and the front is 16 so we are going to be minus 14 from 16 and we have two so usually standardly the front differs the back differs from the front by two is only on rare occasions where you would see three or let's say one and a half so but make sure you take the measurement so from the bus point from that bus point line, we are going to come down by two. When you come down by two, you will connect it to the that point where we went in by four. Just take a look at what I'm doing right now. So I've gone ahead to connect it. So when you connect this thing, you know that then we have automatically eliminated that part from the front. So when you are sewing, after drafting this out, you would notice that the front and the back half length they 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 are together but when you don't do this you just happen that you have some 
the front and the back calf length you keep struggling with it it won't be sitting very well so right now this is me i'm marking out the neck measurement like we did remember on uh, previously um, when we started the video we did our neck measurement so i've gone ahead to mark it out and also i'm ruling out the shoulder slant so you will be able to see it so there are so many things you can do with that there are so many things you can do shoulder that manipulation there are so many much manipulation you can do with that you can on most of these manipulations are done on corset like victorian corset and basic corset so there are so many things you can do with your that so right now the next thing that i'm going to be showing you right now on this video is to show you how to connect your front your back arm or to to where um is to show you how to connect your back arm or so this is it the sometimes our back arm o and the front arm o is not the same but for the purpose of this tutorial which is our basic bodies i'm going to be connecting the back arm o. but know that not all outfits has the same back arm o. why some outfits they also have the same back arm o. i always mention this on my videos if you have watched my video before you would see that i mentioned that some outfits it's the back arm o and the front arm o are together while some outfit the front arm o and the back arm o are not together same with shoulder slant as time goes on i'm going to be unveiling all the secrets all these manipulations to you then you'll begin to understand why some outfits are sitting this way on someone's body so i've gone ahead to connect the back arm o I've gone ahead to connect the back arm o. So um, the next thing I'm going to be showing you right now is is how to place your allowances on the on the basic bodies. So when you are placing your allowances on the basic body, don't place so much allowance. You shouldn't place like two inches. No, one inch is okay. Half inch is okay. So this is me. I'm connecting. I'm placing the allowances on it so for the arm or the arm or does not really need much allowance you can just maintain the same way or you could just want to come out either by 0 0.5 or by one but not more than 1.5 so you won't have excesses on the arm o. so that is me right now i just came out by 0 0.5 because I don't want so much allowances. This is just a basic body. So you take your straight rule and connect from that point, from the chest line to the half length. This is for the allowance. And then you take your slight rule. Remember, I said always place a thin on the hip line. It's going to give you a nice curve. So I've gone ahead to place a thin on that hip line, which is going to give me a nice curve. And then that will be the end of this um, tutorial. If you find this video interesting, please kindly like, share, and comment. Share to your fellow soulmate. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you get notified once I upload any sewing tutorial. So this video here right now is a video of me showing you how the front half length and the back half length. If you look at it very well, you can see if the front and the back is the same and you can see how the zip is sitting very well on me. Thank you so much. Bye.